Hey, welcome to another wintertime cook series. I got some good food today, and we're going to be utilizing a different method today to cook our food up. So uh, let's get going. Well, we had a little bit of a warm up here this week, and uh, we lost a lot of our snow, a lot of it. Uh, down low, all the snow's gone. So I had to come up here on the mountain and come down in the hall here to hit the snow. Yeah, I thought winter was set, settling in there for a long haul, but it uh, don't seem to be the case crazy weather anymore. Well, it's warm enough today that uh, we don't have to be bundled up as much. So, I guess for every plus there's a minus. It warms up, you lose the snow. So that's how it is. You just got to roll with it. Still plenty deep in some spots down here. Well, today we're going to be doing our cooking the old-fashioned way, and that's with fire. So I brought my uh, old skillet that I use on the fire, 
and uh, we're going to get a fire going here and cook our lunch today. Uh, I didn't bring nothing but ignition source with me to get a fire going and this piece of fat wood here. Uh, the rest of the materials I gathered up what's available for me in my area, which is uh, most of the time some birch bark and some uh, fine uh, hemlock limbs that are dead, the real fine ones that you find underneath. So uh, we're going to get these going here and uh, see if we can get a fire going here. All right, I'm going to start with some fatwood shavings here. We had a little bit of a warm up this week. And uh, down low, we lost all of our snow. And the rivers are up. They're aging pretty good, but nothing to the point of flooding yet. But I come up the mountain here and come down in the hollow here, and we still got a good bit of snow left. Which I was happy about that. I always like to keep turning my wood to get a sharper edge here. Seems like it shaves better. All right, we're getting into some good stuff there. Nice and orange. Mmm, smells good. All right, we're gonna go with that and our birch bark here and see if we can get this fire going here. All right, today I'm utilizing the Gerber. This is the Bear Grills ferro rod. I showed this on my last Light My Fire video here. And uh, it's a pretty nice ferro rod. It's uh, connected with the lanyard so you never lose your striker here. And it has the whistle here too. All right, so let's see if we can uh, get this fat wood going. There we go. The lanyard does kind of restrict you a little bit. But... The birch bark is damp, but it should go pretty quick here. All right, got a little bit of heat going there. And I got another slab of birch bark here off a dead tree here. We're just gonna put that over it just like that. and start getting our fine sticks on top. These are damp, but uh, they should dry out pretty quick. Well, once we get some of that damp wood dried out, we should be in good shape. All right, so we got our fire going here, and uh, we're going to get cooking some lunch here. I'm ready.
All right, this is my original camp skillet. Just an old non-stick skillet I had for years. See the heat got to the handle here a good bit. This is what I use it for when I'm cooking on the fire here. And uh, works out pretty well. All right, we've got some olive oil in there. All right, we're gonna continue the potato theme that I had last week. This time we got yellow potato chunks. And I got some sliced up jalapeno peppers. Now when I'm winter time cooking here, I like to pre-slice everything at home and put them in these Ziploc baggies here. And that always works out pretty well. Summertime, I like to cut my stuff fresh out in the woods. So we'll get them started here. All right, I got two cloves of fresh garlic here. I love my garlic. I got a nice piece of fresh, wild-caught salmon. We're gonna be cooking that up. Oh yeah. All right, to go along with that salmon, I got some Old Bay. You can't have fish without a little bit of Old Bay on it. And I'm going to sprinkle that on my fries, too. And my potato chunks, I should say. There we go. Alright, the fire's dying down, but there's still plenty of heat there to cook this. I don't want it too hot. I'm starting to scorch my peppers there. Oh yeah. And we can't forget about our coffee here. I got the old percolator here with me again. And we're just dipping right out of the creek. Anytime I'm boiling my water, I don't worry about getting it out of the creek here. All right, get some coffee in there. This is just the old Maxwell house. All right, everything's looking good. Gotta cook that salmon a little bit longer. Uh, I believe this is wild caught Alaskan salmon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna flip this here. There we go. in there a little bit better 
I always just try to watch the handle on my coffee maker here. So I don't want to burn or melt it off. It's taken some heat before. That thing's probably over. Oh gosh. I bet you 30 years old, 30, 35 years old. I melted the top on it, it was plastic. And I went to a flea market and found a, an old percolator there that had a glass top on it. And uh, it fits in there real nice. Always like the glass ball top on a percolator. Crazy weather. Last weekend it was uh, 16, 17 degrees when I was cooking. And this week here I think it's in the 40s. I don't have any service down here so I can't tell. Well, I brought my Ozark Trail mug here today. The old hot lips will stay on there better. The Ozark Trail mug here has a thinner rim than the uh, GSI. So this hot lips clips on there real nice and they don't tend to fall off. I didn't even have to really push that on there. It went right on real nice. Doesn't even wiggle or move. All right. All right, our food looks amazing. We're gonna take that off and start trying that out while our coffee's still heating up there. No perk action yet. I just got the fire stoked back up. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks pretty good. Wild caught Alaskan salmon and yellow potatoes, jalapeno peppers, and fresh garlic. Oh, look at that. Does that look amazing or what? All right, there's our lunch for today. Looks mighty tasty. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. All right, here we are. Here's a little garlic slice. It looks like it's nice and crispy. Oh yeah. And delicious too. Well, let's dive into this salmon here. Nice and flaky. Oh, you guys want the first bite? Go right ahead. Mmm, good, isn't it? <laughs> mm hmm. I'll attest to that. Can't beat that old bay seasoning. Very good. There's some salmon with a jalapeno slice. Oh boy. Week in, week out. I make you guys hungry. Ain't no better place to be out here in nature, along a beautiful stream. I hope a lot of you guys can get out there and enjoy nature as much as I do.
Well, we cooked with fire today. I told you guys I was going to change it up. And the heat off that fire feels good right now. Like I said, it's not real cold out today, but still chilly enough. You like the heat from the fire. I should have did this last week. Yeah, real good. <laughs> All right, we got some perking action going on here now. Let's have a little bit of this coffee here. Good and hot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to let that cool down a little bit. <coughs> you know anything about cooking with a fire? Phew. Get that smoke in your eyes. Now you guys think I'm crying. Where's my hanky at? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> There's to you. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Hey, well, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you next time on the Winter Cook Series. I appreciate your views and your support. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Catch you later. <laughs>